Hey everybody, welcome back to Blockchain Central. With the second episode, we continue our series devoted to the biggest tech companies and how they're currently exploring blockchain solutions. Today, we'll be looking at IBM. Enjoy. Every month, we publish three videos, two in-depth explorations into the fascinating world of blockchains, and one video where we summarize the most important events of the previous month. If you want to stay up to date with our content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that little bell to always get notified when we drop a new video. Also, be sure to check out our Medium blog at medium.com slash at block essence. See the link in the description box for details. You can also follow me on Instagram at the Blue Mantic to catch up with my other projects. Now, let's talk IBM. IBM stands for International Business Machines Corporation and is an information technology company headquartered in the United States. It was founded in 1911 as CTR, Computing Tabulating Recording Company, and renamed to IBM 13 years later. IBM is a manufacturer and distributor of computing hardware and software, as well as a provider of consulting and hosting services for corporate clients. As of Q3 2019, IBM still holds the record for the highest number of US patents made by one company, a record that they've been holding for 26 years straight. Some of the meaningful inventions made in the company's century-long history include the magnetic stripe card, the hard drive, and the ATM. IBM also participated as a forerunner in developing new cutting-edge technologies that we now use every day. For example, in 1953, they introduced a heart-lung machine which allowed for the first successful open heart surgery. Three years later, the company demonstrated a self-learning application which is considered the first successful implementation of machine learning. If that's not enough for you, it was IBM that invented a speech recognition machine as early as 1961. The history of this tech giant is in fact full of ups and downs. Most notably, in 1993, IBM registered an $8 billion loss which at the time, was the highest loss recorded by an American company. What saved the company was appointing Louis V. Gressner Jr. as the company's new CEO. Mr. Gressner turned the company around so quickly that only a few years later, it started acquiring other corporations and launching new projects. Mr. Gressner started the process that saw IBM move from a wide range of services, including B2C and B2B solutions, to a focused portfolio of B2B services. This was, in fact, a necessity for the company. In order to stay afloat, IBM decided to transform their portfolio in line with the momentum of the IT industry. It moved to services and software for corporate and enterprise customers and stopped investing in technologies and products such as components or hardware for individual consumers. Nowadays, the big focus of IBM is enabling clients to develop their businesses through technology. This means that the emphasis is placed on servers, databases, big data, machine learning, and of course, blockchain. When discussing such technologies, it is worth mentioning Watson, an artificial intelligence platform combining cognitive solutions and machine learning. Watson's main goal is to extract insights from vast volumes of data and become a computer capable of answering questions asked in natural language. There are opinions out there that IBM overpromised on capabilities of Watson, but others claim that Watson is being released, as most IBM products are, in phases. One thing is for sure, the much hyped functionality of Watson being able to give medical advice is still at least a few years away. Today, under a new CEO, Jenny Rometty, IBM continues to focus on enterprise solutions. Rometty has been leading IBM since 2012 and is the first female CEO in the Czech giant's history. It is under her leadership that the company truly started to grow in 2017 after a few years of lackluster earnings. Currently, the primary mission of IBM is to provide services that facilitate enterprise operations with a strong focus on data. According to Jenny Rometty, as much as 80% of information is unsearchable today. Allowing users to access and take advantage of hidden or obscure data is a certain way to increase their competitive advantage. And that is exactly what IBM wants to enable. Rometty now pushes the company into merging B2B solutions with cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and blockchain. So how does IBM participate in the blockchain ecosystem? If you watch our monthly recap videos, you'll know that IBM is on the news almost every month with their distributed ledger implementations. Here are a few examples. IBM, together with the leading companies in the fields of banking, finance, manufacturing, and supply chain, and in collaboration with the Linux Foundation, developed an open source framework for business blockchain called Hyperledger Fabric. This blockchain platform is capable of hosting distributed applications. 
The coding is standardized, meaning programs might be written in various programming languages. Another important quality is being designed to work on permission networks, where members are not anonymous to each other. This allows it to be used in business applications as it provides high level of data security. Another exceptional feature of Fabric is the possibility to establish separate channels that can host particular ledgers. This solution can be very handy in business environments where peers do not necessarily want to share all the data with everyone on the network. Hyperledger Fabric serves as the base for IBM blockchain platform that is described by IBM as a blockchain as a service, quite similar to software as a service SaaS model. This allows its users to customize resources such as operating memory or storage that are being used and alter or apply them to particular nodes. That is how Hyperledger based solutions create networks with desired scalability and in a wider perspective, facilitate management of decentralized business networks with multiple participants. As we see, IBM's forward thinking manifests itself in their decentralized attitude. This stance is also present on how they promote blockchain technology. Users can find many tutorials on establishing DLT systems based on IBM's blockchain platform. In the developer section of the website, individual users can dig in and increase their knowledge on DLT thanks to free articles, tutorials, and videos. When talking about education, it's worth mentioning Insights Forum, a platform that encourages visitors to take part in developing open source blockchain solutions and contribute to IBM's research. What is more, some activities come with monetary incentives. One needs only to sign up, pay a $15 registration fee, and start collaborating with other professionals. Companies and businesses can also collaborate with IBM experts through the initiative called IBM Garage. Together with the tech giant specialist, startups can develop blockchain solutions on a proof of concept basis. One of the enterprises that decided to go through the IBM Garage workshop was Singapore based company called Freshter. They aimed to adopt the blockchain for tracking online shopping delivery. Its founders wanted to improve the B2C shipping process that might be complicated, as it usually takes place during working hours when the customers are not at home. Every failed attempt at delivering the package cost at least $3, depending on its size and destination. To overcome this problem, the Singapore administration implemented a system of shared lockers. Fresh Turf wanted to maximize its usage through blockchain. Together with IBM Garage specialists, the company got to know the technology, created a strategy, and finally developed a distributed ledger prototype based on IBM blockchain platform and nested an IBM cloud. It enabled transactions between locker administrators, consumers, sellers, and shippers. The privacy of all users was secured by using both private and permission channels. Another real life example of using the blockchain technology in collaboration with IBM Garage Initiative is the case of New York Times. In a venture announced a few months ago, the publisher, using the Hyperledger fabric, aims to design the solution that would eliminate fake news. The data stored on public and permission ledgers contains information on when and where photographs and videos were taken. Anytime the footage is published, this information is provided. Now, the project is in its initial phase of proof of concept. If successful, the solution can have significant impact on the reliability of online information. IBM also invests strongly into blockchain development and its usage in various business environments. The company underscores that in some of them, collaboration is more important than competition. It seems that the tech giant was able to put the message across within their food trust solution, one of the most relevant blockchain initiatives. It managed to connect Albertsons, Carefor, Nestle, Tyson Foods, Unilever, and Walmart, just to name a few. All these companies agreed to share their information through the network under specific conditions regarding data privacy. As these are competing enterprises, they join Food Trust Blockchain only on the condition that they fully control access to their stored data. By using distributed ledger technology, Food Trust grants entry to the supply chain information within seconds for everybody involved, be it a food producer, a reseller, or a consumer. It brings transparency and increases food safety by providing information about the food's origin and present location together with other available data. And finally, IBM seems not to forget about small and medium enterprises. Their project, Trade Finance, is developed for such companies. The idea behind it is to shift the crediting possibilities, which nowadays mostly rely on one major financing entity. With the blockchain, the stakeholders aim to reduce paper-based procedures 
and formalities that increase trading costs. The solution is being developed through We.Trade platform, which is a joint venture created in collaboration with several European major banks, such as Kasha Bank, Santander, Unicredit, Deutsche Bank, or HSBC. As we can see, IBM focuses heavily on blockchain solutions for business and is proud of being called the industry leader in the sector. While it seems like all the initiatives may revolutionize our daily life, from doing groceries to providing verified identity, we need to acknowledge that the blockchain technology itself is considered a new idea. Thus, it is too early to determine if the solutions based on it will disrupt those sectors. IBM is eager to invest in emerging technologies at the very beginning, but had difficulties monetizing them immediately. But if the company continues its forward thinking and makes the right choices, their products might again become omnipresent. So what do you think of IBM's blockchain solutions? Which one of their initiatives is most likely to see widespread adoption? Let us know in the comments. Before you go, Please note that this content does neither represent financial, legal, or tax advice, nor is it supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell any securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Blockchain Central to never miss a beat. Also, check out our blog. The link is in the description below. You can also follow me on Instagram at TheBlueMantic to catch up with my other projects. See you in the next one.